Mike, you've been on the Chet Holmgren beat essentially for the past three years, right? Yep. What makes him such a can't miss prospect? Well, there's only so many seven footers on this entire earth with yeah. a seven six wingspan who can pass, dribble, shoot, and protect the rim at such a high level. So we talk so much about his shot blocking and the three point shooting, but there are two things that stand out most to me, okay? And I was able to go to Santa Barbara, spend some time around him. Perk, we talked about this the other day. He's mean. Yes. <laughs> like he like he's yeah, buck ninety five, two hundred pounds. No, like don't get it twisted. He is mean and focused and aggressive and being around him a couple days and just watching his preparation. He was how he breaks that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's mean. Cool. You got a yeah. sense of mean. His photo, his photo on the mock oh, no. draft graphic that it we just saw. He look happy. You don't look happy right there. He's not afraid. One bit, right? So, you know, he's there early. He stays late. The whole deal, right? On top of that, he's not just this rim running, pick and pop guy. Like, he can handle the ball. He has legitimate wing skills. Like, he's going to be playing pick and roll like Evan Mobley, like Jaron Jackson, different bigs, like putting the ball in his hands. And, you know, I can talk about this workout and all that. That, but let's just show you. Let's let's show you some of the stuff we talked about out in Santa Barbara and break it down. Let's roll the you, tape. And you would say he's more skilled than Evan Mobley and, and Jaron Jackson. Jr. Yes. yes. For the upcoming draft. He's the total package. He can do it all out of the floor. Chet Holmgren, are you serious? Wow. Mike Schmitz of ESPN here in Santa Barbara. Chet Holmgren, Packy Turner. Chet, I think what makes you special is at your size, your ability to handle the ball, play pick and roll, bust out of handoffs. What makes you so effective in those situations? Uh, just reading the defense and taking what they give me, uh, you know, not forcing anything uh, and not trying to take something that's not there. Holmgren, made it look easy. Look how fluid he is. It's not fair. One thing I've seen from you too, just watching you work out is you have step backs, side steps. Maybe take us through like the cadence of, of one of those moves. Uh, yeah, I mean, when I'm going and they're on my head, mm -hmm. that's when I use my pocket to use those step backs to kind of create some space. Okay. And then, you know, not use the arm so I can really use my pocket to create enough space for that jump shot. So let's see you roasting our guy Packy here. <laughs> So he's getting into the ball, he's getting into you. Film on your hip. Stop, pop, splash. Do you believe in unicorns? <laughs> I think I, I didn't until tonight, but I think I might now. We're gonna break down your film here. This is a, I think, an action that NBA teams are gonna use you in, right? Maybe not this exactly, but whether you're busting out of the corner into a handoff, right? Um, so what are you reading in the defender that leads to this decision? Uh, you know. At the end of the day, if a defender wants to go under a screen or shoot the gap on a screen, they're basically, you know, saying that you can't hit that yep. stop behind three. So that's the read every time. Yeah. Uh, and just knock that down. Evan Mobley, uh, Cleveland used him a lot in these type of situations. You know, um, kind of four or five pick and roll. What do you like about this? And do you foresee yourself kind of functioning in some of these as well? I love this, and I love yeah. that the NBA is going in this, this direction. Um, and yeah, I definitely see myself doing this. What do you love about this? Uh, I just love seeing a seven-footer uh, like myself. Uh, obviously, a mobile great player. Uh, you know, come off a, a middle ball screen and skip into an elbow pull-up. How excited are you for the NBA game um, and just how open it is and, and kind of to be able to show some of that versatility? Yeah, no, I'm excited to be able to play in the NBA. Uh, you know, it's been a lifelong dream to be able to you know play at that level, compete at that level. So. You know, I'm excited to show what I can do. Well, Chad, it's been great to kind of track your development, get to know you a little bit over these last few years, and best of luck Appreciate along the way. Thanks. Appreciate it, man. Mm. So we only saw like maybe 20% of what he can do offensively given the situation at, at Gonzaga. So Perk, I'm gonna throw it to you, what is the best fit for Chet Holmgren? Oh, you know I'm being biased. H-Town, Houston. <laughs> but, but here's why, right? You look at Jalen Green and you, we watched him progress throughout the last part of the season. He was dropping 40 pieces, things to that nature. And I talk about looking at the Cleveland Cavaliers and that the Rockets should try to mimic what they're doing, right? They had Darius Garland, they added Evan Mobley. Why not add Chet Holmgren? Like, I know he's probably going to go number one because he's the true yeah, definition. I don't know if he's no, going to get that far I down. understand yeah. that, but he's a true definition of a generational talent. But if Houston can land him, like, with the combination between him and Jalen Green will be great, a great starting point. And I could see them being the next version of Evan Mobley and Darius Garland and what they did in the league that the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers took this season. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.